that you, I failed to what? You failed to stop at a designated point? Yeah, I'm no. not saying you didn't stop. I'm saying you stopped, but you failed to uh, signal at the required distance. You saw that stop sign? I'm not saying you didn't stop. And it's going to be a warning for failed to stop at a designated point at a stop sign. So about three months ago, Corners News uploaded this video. It shows a pretextual stop by a Texas DPS officer by the name of Eric Estrada. So in the video, initially, Texas DPS trooper Eric Estrada pulls this guy over and claims that he didn't stop. Then he gets called on his BS and says, okay, okay, you did stop, but you didn't signal within 100 feet of your turn. So obviously, this cop lied to make a traffic stop. But it was actually what he did after Corners News posted this video that made me decide to pick it up. Were you saying that I failed to what? You failed to stop at a designated point? Which here, was the stop, the stop sign, sign right on here. my first exit? No, no, no. Right here on your last exit. And then when you got off the highway, you failed to signal at the required distance, which is 100 feet. Does that make sense? Hmm. I'm not going to answer any questions because okay. I already know that I stopped. Okay. So you're not understanding what I'm saying. You failed to signal at the required distance. Yeah, I'm no. not saying you didn't stop. I'm saying you stopped, but you failed to uh, signal at the required distance. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to say that I signaled okay. totally. Yep. Do you believe you signal at 100 feet? Um, Probably I'm going to go ahead and just keep my mouth shut. Okay. I signaled. Do you have your driver license? Uh, it's in my other vehicle. Okay. Do you have, do you have your driver license number? Uh, ele uh, two, six, your name and badge number? It's going to be Estrada, sir. 16031. Okay. So you pulled me over for failing to signal no, no, no. before so to signal at the required a distance, distance. required yes, distance. So yes, when I was under that bridge. No, no, no. You're not understanding, sir. Be on when you got off the bridge. Does that make sense? You saw that stop sign? I'm not saying you didn't stop. So I exited right here and then took a left at okay. the stop sign. And you didn't, you didn't went, signal. I went under the bridge sir, and had a left the, turn signal. When you took the exit, correct? You remember when you took the exit and mm -hmm. you came on the stop sign? Pointing south, as soon as you hit the stop sign, you hit your blinker. You failed to dis to signal the required distance. That's the first violation. Okay, so do you uh, do you have that on camera, yes, or were y'all yes, we were y'all just? No, no, we we do have that on camera. Okay. Our camera records two minutes prior from us turning on the the light, so clearly we do have it on camera, sir. Okay. So can you hand this gentleman your driver's license and your proof of insurance? I I just gave it to him. Okay, do you have the proof of insurance? Um, yeah, it's actually, I have it on email. It's uh, progressive, but I have it on my app. You, I don't, I don't think I have paperwork. That's fine, sir. If you don't have it with you, we'll go ahead and verify it on our system. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Give me one second, all right, sir? Yep. What's your name and badge number? Uh, Trooper Salinas, badge number 15965, sir. Okay, thank you. Hey, sir, I'm going to run your DL, sir. It's going to be a simple warning for photo signal at the required distance, which is 100 feet. And it's going to be a warning for Phil to stop at a designated point at a stop sign. Okay. Wait a second. <laughs> First, he says this guy didn't stop. Then the guy calls him on his BS and he says, okay, I'm not saying you didn't stop. Twice. Twice he says, I'm not saying you didn't stop. Now he comes back and says, I'm going to give you a warning for failure to stop. W what is it? Did he stop or did he not? It's no wonder Trooper Eric Estrada was embarrassed that this got posted and wanted it taken down. That I failed to what? You failed to stop at a designated point? Yeah, I'm no. not saying you didn't stop. I'm saying you stopped, but you failed to uh, signal at the required distance. You saw that stop sign? I'm not saying you didn't stop. And it's going to be a warning for failure to stop at a designated point at a stop sign. What? What the fuck? Okay, and it's also going to be a, a warning. If everything comes back, to and this is your driver license? Yep. It's going to be a warning for failure to display your driver license. Okay. Is that, do you understand, sir? I'm understanding. Okay. And then what's your date of birth, sir? Uh, R-U-E-L. All right, sir. As long as your insurance comes back clear and you have insurance, everything's going to be okay. All right, sir? I'll be back. Stay put. All right, Mr. Ruel. Sir, like I mentioned to you, this is going to be a warning for failure to display your driver license. Would you give me your driver license number? It's going to be a warning for failure to stop at a designated point at the stop sign right here under the underpass. And it's going to be a failure to signal the required distance, which is 100 feet before turning. Okay? If you sign right there, sir, it won't affect the driving record and it won't. And there's no fines or fees. All right. Can you just make sure all your information is correct, sir? Um. Before signing? Is this one the 5.0 or is it the 4.6? Um, 
so I'll tell you. <laughs> I mean, I was a Mustang. My first car was a, a 1987 Mustang GT. That's how I'm asking. I've always been a Mustang, but you know how they made the, you know how they changed the years and they, they made the 4.6 and then the 5.0 right away. If if I if I uh, if I if I tell you, I I rather just show you. It's up to you, sir. You want to show me? You can go ahead. Yeah. But here, sir, before we, let's end the traffic stop. Yeah. Sir, is this your copy? Yeah. You can go ahead and step out, sir. Usually, pretextual stops are used to have an excuse to stop someone, not necessarily for their traffic violation, but so that you can search their vehicle for illegal drugs, guns, dead hookers, and things like that. It appears that Eric Estrada may have done a pretextual stop on this car because it's his favorite car and he wanted to get a closer look at it. So anyways, Corners News posted this video about three months ago, and this is the thumbnail that he used on his video picturing Eric Estrada. Fast forward to just a few days ago, he received a privacy complaint on YouTube from someone claiming that their privacy had been violated in the thumbnail. Now, in order to make a privacy complaint on YouTube, you have to affirm and reaffirm multiple times that someone has posted your confidential information, such as a social security number, bank account numbers, or other private data that should not be on the internet. Now, obviously, none of Eric Estrada's personal information was included in the thumbnail or the video. But when you look into who Eric Estrada is, the plot thickens even more. Eric is one of the PIOs, public information officers, public spokespersons for Texas Highway Patrol. Sergeant Eric Estrada is a DPS spokesman and says they are mainly looking to make sure these trucks are in working order and safe to be on Texas roads. If these truck tractors manage to cross these port of entries in that condition, they could cause accidents or they could even cause a fatality. Isn't it strange that Eric Estrada didn't go after CBS News Texas that posted this on YouTube about 11 months ago showing his face and his first and last name? He's done countless interviews on camera with multiple agencies. There's photos and videos of him all over the internet, accompanied by his first and last name. It's quite literally his job to be the name and face of the police department. So he knows that his name and image are already all over the internet, super easy to find. But he chose to go after one person who shared his already public image. So why did he do this? Well, I found that in all the other news stories where he speaks publicly for the department, he doesn't look like a lying clown like he does in this video. It looks as if he targeted a particular piece of news that wasn't favorable to him and tried to have it removed. And this is why I picked this video up and would encourage as many of you as possible to do the same. The video only had about 2,000 views on Corners News channel before the privacy complaint was made, but I think that with the help of the community, we can get the video viewed by at least 100,000 people, maybe even a million. When public servants try to have stories about them scrubbed from the internet, I feel that it's very important to try to make the video go 10 times further than it would have if they had just left it alone.